Hello everybody, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4. This is Luminous Arc from the Nintendo DS, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So, we have just recently approached our next destination here, um, in that research facility that we thought Vanessa destroyed, but actually it was the Steel Witch instead, so... We've got something different on our hands now. It look, turns out the church was really, you know, a bullshitter type thing going on here. Something weird, something mysterious is going on. We're probably going to learn a little bit more about it after this part here, I'm going to assume. Cern learn some secrets about the, the, about the church, what they're really up to. And I mentioned the... Uh, at the last part that I just I love games that just do that to you that you do think you're doing one thing right and properly for once but really you're not you're actually with like the evil twisted association Bait and Kaitos is another one that I can think of that's an awesome example or Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is another good example as well but I don't want to give out too many other examples just because it's gonna okay, probably spoil some games for you guys but you know things like that I just I've always loved games and this one really took me you know for a real turn especially the parts that are gonna be coming up here there's gonna be a lot of shit that's gonna go down and I mean a lot of shit as if you couldn't already tell I mean we finally got Vanessa in our team for a little bit maybe for longer, who knows? I'm hoping for permanently, because that'd be awesome. Okay, I don't want to put him by that steel witch. I have a feeling she's a bad news. She's gonna be bad news. Now use your stupid thunderbolt. It's gonna do nothing. No problems detected. 400 HP. Yo. Let's see your best. By the way, where has she been going this entire battle? I kind of mentioned this before, but she's kind of been doing like some weird shit. How about you? Ouch. She sounds so weird too, but I guess she is a robot, so what do you expect? Um, start moving down, I suppose. I hate in this game how height matters for spells for some reason. Like, it shouldn't matter. It's a spell. Other tactics games don't do that, because it's a spell. They should be able to go anywhere they want to. Why is there a height restriction? Same with Theo's stuff here. Like, why is there a height restriction when he can clearly hit her? He can clearly hit her! I'm smashing the button right now, but no. No, 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 no. They had to make it retarded. They just had to make it... They just had to do that. It pisses me off. No, I don't want to do that. I don't know why they did that. It, it, it's annoying. They need to they need to work on some stuff in this game. I don't think they really change it in the next Luminous Arc either. Maybe they'll change it in the third one. The third one looks kind of weird to me though. Heat wave. On you, I guess? Mal, I hope you go soon. Seriously, go soon. Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow, Mal? Why are the healers so slow? I need them! I need them to not be slow. Well, there's one, but he can't reach them. God bless us! I see that they haven't really changed her lines up a bit. I think that's kind of odd if you ask me. It's very peculiar. Okay, please, for the love of God, reach the heel all the way there. Do it. Damn it! Why? Like, I don't understand that. Why do you- why would they do that? It, it's very annoying. Especially when you need to heal. Ugh, whatever. She can still reach all the way there. That makes me happy. I wonder what Iris is gonna do. She hasn't really done much. She's doing stuff now. Not good enough. Yeah, you're gonna use your spell. What was that? 
Big surprise there. Now you're gonna use your spell. You're gonna kill Alf and Vanessa, aren't you? Or all three of them. Ugh. How annoying. Wait, I know what to, I know I know what to do. Let's do this first. Let's attack. That was that was the cheapest thing ever, by the way. Ever. Ever. I have to start being more careful. I have to be careful. Especially with you. You and your no guard. Let's see if you can hurt her. You can too. You can kill her actually. Good job, Theo. I, that actually made me pretty happy. That made me very happy. As for you, stupid things. Spamming your spells all the time. You can go over here. And bring back some help. You first, because you're the main character. I think he's died the most, actually, so far. If I'm right, then yeah, he has died the most. Why have you died so much? I don't understand. Let's see, bring back Ness. Bring back Vanessa. Playtime's over. Might as well get that level up while we're at it. Do some healing. I have a feeling that Leon's gonna pretty much finish everything off like he did last time. Good, good. Unless he does. Oh, he might actually. Can I use any of your flash drives? I don't think I can. Can I? Oh, I can too. Ooh. I can do it. Whew. Another tough battle, and we only had, well, I guess, one casualty that we didn't bring back. Uh... Uh... You know what, I want to talk to her, because like I said before, she really helped me out last time. I see you children are no strangers to combat. Iris, activate your hyper mode. Hyper mode initiated! Exterminate all of the witches, garden children, and any surviving researchers who are still here. Oh, keep protecting me with your barrier, of course. Energy at 100%. Disengaging limiter. Energy at 110%. So much power! If we stay here, we'll be vaporized. Releasing power in... 5... 4... Shush! Everyone get out of here! Mel, help me out! Gotcha! Three, two... Everyone, run to Vanessa! One, zero! <gasps> Where are we? We are near the town of Madrissa. Mel and I teleported us here. We jumped all the way to the next town over, huh? Thanks for your help, Vanessa and Mel. I couldn't have just watched you guys burn. I have to thank you, too. Thanks. Oh? Were you guys there, too? I didn't notice. Well, then. I've got my own stuff to do. See ya! So much for that. Wait, Vanessa! Aw, oh, she's already gone. Vanessa, she's acting cocky, but really... Vanessa. I would classify that steel witch as a major threat. Even Vanessa ran away from her. They were seriously trying to kill us. I guess that means we're no longer welcome in the church. I can't believe the church created such an abomination. You have to keep your eyes open to seek the truth, Missy. I can't even close my eyes to pray. If you have your eyes open, you can see what's happening in front of you. You're not alone, Cecile. We won't let what we see scare us. Probably. Oh. Hey, 
Hey, it seems like something's going on in town. Let's go check it out. Intermission with you. Alf, what is your training resume at the Whatever Garden? Comment is the best training. Reading and learning tactics. Working on the fundamentals. Yes, the fundamentals. Building a strong foundation makes you tough to topple. I start each day by doing a, hot, a thousand jazz followed by a thousand roundhouse kicks. Kicks, 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 kicks. kicks. Life of Copeland. I become friends with the radish that Lady Vanessa introduced me to. His name is Dakon. I invited him to my favorite bucket. We talked about a number of things. He said one doesn't need a reason to live, just existing is good enough. What? Ooh, a talent's next, but I'm gonna end this part right here. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.